it awesome, cool, yummy, that you have the awareness that you're hiding. Yes. Yes, because now, whenever you see yourself doing something to not, you know, get big enough in your business, to not get big enough in your life, to not, you know, really show up and be present for others, or even, I mean, it's even on the level of looking somebody in, the, in their eyes. I mean, truly seeing somebody, that's hiding. Because we don't think that we're worth being seen. What if it was okay for people to really see you? Yeah. What are you, you know, what are you hiding by not looking somebody in, in, in their eyes? So where, Allie, are you hiding? Well, so I guess I'm saying here, I mean, it's like movie camera and download of all the awareness. Mm -hmm. I mean, it always shows up. And so um, the one thing that, so I was saying, ramble. I, sometimes I hesitate um, communicating to other people what I'm up to. Um, so there's histories of just it being shut down, people judgment. are being shut yeah, judgment. But also this fear that they're better, they can do it better, mm -hmm. and that, oh, and I just feel so yucky to even say this out, I'm gonna, that if I speak it out, someone else is gonna take it and do it, because they're gonna do it better. And, um, so it's like wanting to just take my dreams and just you know keep them to myself. Um, I just hide out and I've gotten in trouble by being bright and big, you know, throughout my life. So, and that okay. seems how have you hard. gotten how have you gotten in trouble by being bright? Um, uh, being like kicked out of groups. Um, being, you know, publicly criticized, uh, people actually telling me that I shouldn't show up so big because I'm taking other people's, like there's a certain amount of energy in a room and if I show up too big, other people can't show up, um, things like that. Um, uh, just really being ostracized in high school and in junior high that anytime I shined in anything then I lost all my friends. Yeah. Um, even as I grow my business, a lot of my friends are disappearing, and I get it at some level, and it still triggers the, I'll be alone, or who are you, how dare you. So what if that was all okay? What if they would come to you and you could be that energy for them? It's kind of like somebody coming up to me and calling me a jerk. Right. And I'm like, cool, I can be that for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, right? that's so cool. Because <laughs> <That's so> cool. <laughs> get this, that's just their point of view about me. It's not my point of view about me. So I'll, I'll be the, the mean people, at, all the mean people in this reality that have come to you and, and said, Allie, you know, you're, you're too big, you're too bright, you're, you're being the tall poppy and you're making us all feel small. You need to reduce yourself. You need to be like everyone else. You need to be normal. You can't be that way. And you say, cool, I could be that for you. <laughs> and I go, what? <laughs> because it was my agenda to be better than her. Again, going back to the judgment of hierarchy, right? Yeah, you were showing people up. Yeah. Yeah. What if it was okay that you know their opinions about you, their points of view about you? What if all of that had nothing to do about you? Do you see the awareness here? Ain't it cool? Yeah. Very cool. There's a cool tool here, and I like to bring in 
this word curious. And when we're hit, and we've been hit with a lifetime of it, and we've been hit so much with a lifetime of it that now her energy has just become that without her even knowing it because she's like, well, I had to make myself small for this person. I had to make myself small for this person. And when I tried to show up this way, this person told me I was insane, so I have to show up as not insane. <laughs> and there's all this polarity and all this charge. So I look at it more like curious that you think that about me. More curious. I'm curious. I'm curious about that. And then you can think, God, they put a lot of stuff in their life. It's coming up for me. I also feel like, bleh. It feels like easier to be with people that I'm neutral about, or, but all of a sudden, like these close family members, people I love dearly, like my older sister, and I just was expansive when I came out. And um, she's chosen to live in a lot of right, wrong, good, bad, and yeah. contracted. And I love her so dearly that it feels challenging to be simply curious um, of why she chooses to be contracted. Yeah, you know, because it is, for some reason, it's guilt of not being contracted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And everything. Yeah. So you know, there we go. Yep. This is a good one. Like, who am I to choose expansion? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because if we would choose expansion, if we would choose to operate as an infinite being, <laughs> then we would make them wrong. Yep. Yeah. Isn't it sort of insane that we we don't feel as if we can show up as all of us? Because if we did, that would make other people feel too small or wrong. 